Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. And if you're new here, honey, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, we're going to talk about Vin Diesel facing a lawsuit for allegedly forcing himself on a assistant that was working with him during the production of one of the fast and furious movie sets let's talk about it shall we because it seems as though those guys on the set of fast and the furious they were having a lot of sexy time now this one is based on allegations forceful but the reason why I'm saying it seems as though the guys on the set of Fast and the Furious was having a lot of sexy time, it is because, in case y'all didn't know, I'm here to tell you all, and if you all have been keeping up with my channel, you guys would remember this video that I did a few months ago, wherein a Eva Mendes stunt double came out and she told the world that she was having sexy time with Paul Walker and Tyrese Gibson at the same time. But we're not talking like a threesome or anything like that. She was dating both guys at the same time and she was very sneaky about it because you know, as they say, if men can do it, women can do it better. So that girl, man, she was just <laughs> having a fun time on the set of Fast and Furious. But this time around, this report is definitely on the unpleasant side of sexy time. And it's all allegedly because Vin Diesel hasn't been proven guilty, okay? But we know that 2023 is going out with a bang, honey. 2023 is saying, look at here, look at here. If you have been accused or if you might have been, you know, too sexy or friendly with someone, chances are you could be labeled as a nemesis. And that's what's going on. Now, according to reports, there's this young lady by the name of Asta Jonasson, right? She says that she was hired by one race films a production company to be Vin Diesel's assistant while he filmed Fast Five in Georgia back in 2010, according to the docs obtained by the media. As to say, she was at Vin's suite at the St. Regis in Atlanta while he was entertaining multiple women, okay? Now, what Astra is saying is that um, she claims when the last woman left, Asta was tasked with ushering Vin out of the hotel to avoid photographers. But doesn't that seem like it's a man job? Like, I mean, a woman, unless she's like that bouncer type of body kind of woman, she can be tiny and really fiery as well as really sassy as well. But honestly, and you know, let me be quite clear with you guys there's a game that is being played and the game is a lot of women are you know making it seems as though they're victims of something that never happened and they're doing it for you know a paycheck oftentimes these women will go with these celebrities end up doing a one night stand and they think that because some women, let's keep it real. I'm a woman, but I can be honest about this because I know that, you know, we're not all the same. Women are, you know, different, different personalities, different qualities. And some of us are really treacherous. It's not only men that are treacherous. Women are very evil as well. And sometimes these women, they have a one night stand with these celebrities and they go above and beyond to try and whip them off their feet and, you know, all sort of crazy-ish. Crazy and then when they get treated like they're just another girl, you know, it festers inside them. And then one day they may come back and say, you know what, you broke my heart and I'm going to let you pay. You know, that kind of attitude. Also, 
sometimes, and I must say also, sometimes a lot of these young girls, they are in fact violated. And because they were so young and vulnerable, they blame themselves when they were not to be blamed because some of these men, they are actually monsters and they will keep it quiet. These girls will keep it quiet. And as they get older and get more, more mature, they realize that, hell no, I did not do anything wrong. I'm not to be blamed for this. And I'm going to ensure that this individual is held accountable for what they did to me. So this is how you see sometimes, you know, women may step forward with a case at a later date. So it could be one of both. It could be one of the two, sorry, that is happening here. We don't know for sure. But what I find is to be questionable is where she's saying, you know, she had to escort him out of the building. Like Vin Diesel doesn't need a woman to escort him out of a building. Or is it that you had to stay back in case there was cleaning up to do and you needed to call in a crew and you need to ensure that the crew does the necessarily necessary clean up properly before you leave. That I could understand, but I cannot understand her, you know, having to stay behind him to avoid photographers, right? But let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> She's saying that, you know, but instead, that's after the part wherein she had to stay to avoid photographers from gaining access to him. But instead, she says Vin Diesel forcibly grabbed her, groped her breast, and kissed her, all while still in the suit. <laughs> the suite, sorry all the while still in the suite. And although she struggled to break free, he allegedly continued to force himself on her. Man, Vin Diesel at that time, I can't see him forcing himself on a woman. I just can't because in my head, or maybe that's in his head as well, any woman at that point would be lusting on this man maybe that is what was in vin diesel's head as well right no they're saying that jenison alleges the assault escalated as diesel lifted up her dress and tried to pull down her underwear before pinning her against the wall grabbing her hand and placing it on his erect penis she says diesel was in was in his underwear after pulling down his cargo shorts. She claimed he then pulled down his pulled down his underwear and started masturbating while still leaning against her. At which point, Janessa says she kept her eyes closed to disassociate and get through the alleged ordeal. She says when he finished, he pulled up his shorts and said, "No one can say shit about Asta," and left the room. Oh my God. Lady, you should have written a book, honey. Maybe you would have gotten more money. <laughs> you should have written a book. But they're saying that hours later, Janice claims Samantha Vincent, Diesel's sister and president of one race, called her and fired her, saying they no longer needed her help. In the suit, Janice says she believes she was fired because she resisted diesel during the alleged assault according to the suit genesis says she um, remained silent for so long out of fear of diesel power in hollywood and because of her immigration status as a green card holder but say she feels empowered by the me too movement she also cites california speak out act which allows victims to file sexual assault claim for alleging incidents dating back to 2009 right now she's suing vin and his sister and one race film for sexual battery wrongful termination and hostile work environment they have reached out to mr vin diesel for comments but no response no I have to say that Cassie has definitely paved the way for a lot of women because, you know what? I do think that God works in mysterious ways and I've always said it. Like Cassie was one of the 
first woman under, under this act that we know about that filed a lawsuit. And because that lawsuit was settled in 24 hours, it basically paved the way for everyone else. And we've got to say kudos to Cassie for ensuring that she filed a ironclad lawsuit that would give strength and voice to a lot of other women. And we have to definitely look at Cassie at a, as a hero, you know, in this moment because she has given voice and she has given strength and reason to so many women to come forward. And we have to say so many thieves at the same time, because a lot of these women, they were never assaulted. A lot of these women had sex. They had sexy time with these men, you know, and it is consensual. But then they realized that once there is such an allegation going out about a celebrity, oftentimes a celebrity will want to settle quiz quickly in order to avoid their name being involved in any type of scandal. But guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Stay safe, stay blessed, and see you all next time. Peace.